Well, good morning. Or I hope y'all having a good morning. We ain't having the best of mornings. We're going to see about trying to get this wheel hub off this sprayer. See what we got. Robert said he hopes this is no indication of uh, how the rest of the year is going to go. And our work light will not come on. So that's lovely. It's all falling apart. See, my last video I named, everything is falling apart. I might should have saved that title for this video. Show everybody your perspective, Rob. Hold up a minute. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Them front tires are full of fluid. Be honest with you, I don't even really know where to start. I ain't supposed to wiggle like that. It's my first time down this road, so. I'm learning as I go. Now I'll give me a hammer and pop that, see if that won't slide out. The planet, the planetary gears actually do not look that bad. I figured they would eat plum up. I got over and rubbed pretty good. I'll put them over here, little fella. Mm. Everybody watch your eyeballs. Come on. When popping them things off, I always like to get a rag or something put in front of it. Like maybe it don't pop you in the face. It'd be a little easier if I had the right kind of snap ring pliers. But ah. Uh. Sometimes all it needs is a little persuasion. Kind of looks like a mini. Is a mini two speed? The ears are two speeds. I think some of this could be fixed uh, if we can get a hold of Auburn, Auburn gear and. Talk to them about it. Oh, spring loaded. I know it's going. It's going to have new, have new shaft. Mm -hmm. That's gone. 
Roll we removed. I roll the bolts back here on the back. We didn't show y'all that, but I think that holds this planetary in. I'm gonna pull it out and see how ugly it is. I mean, there's a bunch of crap in there, but I think it could be cleaned up. And mostly, I think that big, um, big old burn back there just gave up, is what I think. Well, I see this well. Row of boats held this in there. I don't know. There's a little steel. Uh. Uh, it with the rest of the scrap arm. And uh, oh, there comes the chain. <laughs> I hate working on a hub or something that involves gear oil. That stuff just, oh man, it gets on you and it's terrible. Let me borrow your rag. Let's, let's <coughs> give it a wipe down in here and see what we got. <coughs> it looks like there's two burns in here and the outside burn. The outside burn is okay. Yeah, the inside burn. Oh, that's a great big snap ring. I might have to go buy a big set of snap ring pliers. I think we'll get that snap ring on. We can slip that, slip this hub off, I think. I think what they actually intended for you to do is pull this big roll of bolts out back here and just take the whole unit off and Put it up on your workbench and work on. But we're just doing some old reverse engineering because we're the Joyces and we just do stuff backwards from everybody else. All right, let me see what my little let's see if my little cheap snap ring pliers will will take this off first, but they'll give up on me. You just you just trying to catch me saying. Some dirty words. By the way, I know for for all the critics, I know these are not the right snap ring pliers for the job I am doing, but it's what I got and it's what I'm using. Instead of using the strap, if you'll just put that right hand forward right here under the bottom of that plate, we can just balance it on the bottom of that fork. Up just a higher. There you go. Come on in here. Hook. Ease it up a little. Oh, just a little more. Oh, right there. Is it just two on it? No, there's a little line. I give it's probably a return line, I imagine. I remember there's one back there. Last thing, I ain't got no shut, shut off to the tank. Yeah, I mean, I'm fixing to climb up there and do that. You might want to get up under. I, I 
I'll hold it. You back it up. That is actually a relatively simple, simple design. And good for you, Patriot. Tiger on the bike. Don't hit my guy. Alright. Shut her off. Sell us that complete unit and wait would be. I tell you what, we might do if we're gonna keep this. If we're gonna keep this little unit, we might just go home and get both sides. So I called Auburn Gear, the company that actually made them, and they're supposed to be trying to source me a hub for that to put on it. Our only other option is we found a salvaged sprayer down in Coleman, Alabama. And our only other option is to go down there and get the wheel motors off of it if they cannot source us a hub through Auburn Gear. They're wanting $4,000 for them. <coughs> the thing about it is, if we change, if we go the salvage route, we gotta replace this side and this side because they used four different gear ratios in them hubs Tyler did you could order four different gear ratios why they gave that many options I don't know but that's what makes it so hard to find parts for this so when you change them you got to make sure to change the left hand and the right hand side. I talked to uh, the guys at Heartland Ag. They used to sell a lot of these before they uh, went to Case IH, but they said that it doesn't matter if the front wheels and the back wheels are the same because they're already different ratios from the factory. Crazy, I know, he said, he said it has something to do with your travel speeds on your sprayer. He said when you're in low, it's like sending more oil to the back wheels. And when you're in medium, mid-range, it's sending more power to the front wheels. And then when you put it in high, that ties them all together. And that's how you get your max travel speed. And I don't know, I'm learning more about this machine than I want to know. We actually called, I actually called Kevin D. Wood Equipment. They got a very nice, and I probably shouldn't be telling y'all about it because somebody will run by it. But they got a very nice 2007 model case Patriot. It's red, Matt. It's red, and I'm waiting on them to give me a trade-in price on this. They probably ain't gonna give me nothing for it, but I thought it's worth a shot. Just see, Ray, see this baby go down the road. <laughs> 